the big fella is sitting and watching. When I arrived up here, there was a big buzzard flew by. Those two were playing down the steep hill. The buzzard is in one of those trees is right there. It flew, I gave it a startle. I'm here with uh, Inca to help. And this is our ash bucket from the wood stoves. And it is really good for um, the soil, is the wood ash. So I'm gonna be spreading it on this hillside. Now my spreader that I normally have has a flat tire, but the ash bucket is full. So I've got to do it. So I'm doing it by hand because um, the flat tire is just not gonna work. So i am got a, um, this is for spreading lime in the shed when uh, I'm cleaning it out. Uh, but basically, I'm just gonna dig in here and then you find out which direction the wind is. Oh good, the wind is away. And I will just spread it like that. And the next rain, in the next little while, we'll put it into the ground. So that's feeding the carbon back into the ground. Phosphates and lime, really good for the pH. And this soil here is very thin. We're on a lime outcrop, stone outcrop. So feeding the soil, feeding the soil, feeding the soil. That's what I'm gonna be doing now. Are you trying to help? Are you being helpful? Inca's protecting the bin of uh, ash from the she-wolf. Aren't you? You're protecting the bin of ash as I slowly dig into it and spread it with my utility things. So you can see this is all the clean ground. Big fella is still standing guard or lying down guard. And over here, you can see where I spread all the wood ash. The bin is now empty. This is only one of two bins. I'm gonna go back in and get a second bin. Uh, and hopefully the rain tonight will wash this in. You can see the sun is shining through the woods, but uh, I think we're due for some rain. So this will hopefully do really, really well for this bit of ground. And the big fella, whoops, is still standing, lying down, protecting us, watching over us from a good view above the oak tree. So two bins worth of wood ash have now spread by hand. And 
it looks like the she-wolf has taken over the quad. She decided that was the best place to be. You're learning to sit up on top of that, huh? Oh, you're such a pup. Oh, you're so sweet. Are you gonna get down? Or are you gonna stay up there? You like it up there because you stay dry and you don't get covered in ash. Loads of wood ash. Oh, pup, you so good. Yeah. <laughs> You're so fun up there. Funny up there. Anyway, it's the second bin. And I've done this whole hillside, the top of this hillside, so that the next time, the next time we have two bins of wood ash, I know that this line up to here, sort of, I can then spread over there. And that way our trees go back to our soil after they've warmed us. It's a kind of a full cycle thing. Isn't that right? All the other dogs have abandoned me except for you. And you've taken up residency on the quad. Oh, you're such a pup. You're such a pup. <laughs>